and welcome back to another episode of um, Crash Excel from Lars. And in this episode, we are going to be dealing with the another aspect of Excel that is very important for you guys to know. Now, Excel has different aspects in um, its concept, and someone once said Excel is like a full course in its own. Like you could even study Excel as a full course in the university. So that's because of the various and different aspects of Excel we have to cover. And today we are going to be covering another of those aspects. And we are going to be talking about the help, how you can um, get help because it's not possible for you to know everything in Excel. And then we are going to be dealing with formatting. Now I want to talk about formatting. Formatting has to do with the um, way you actually um, alter the content of your cell, not exactly editing. Formatting has to do with how you change the um, Way the information or data is presented so but when you talk about editing editing just involves changing or um, altering the forms of data but formatting it goes a, a, a little bit um, deeper than that you are changing the, um, the, the um, way the information is presented not just the um, not just the the um, the type of information but the way it is presented that is what formatting means and you need to look nowhere but the format tab so you have a, a, a lot of things you can do with the format tab here. You can format cells. So when we talk about when we deal with formatting cells, there are a lot of options for that. You can you can um, format the the data type. So let's deal with something like this first of all. Let's um, I, will, I will enlarge the data type. So now we still have these rows and columns and so on and so forth. So but now let me um, do something else. So I'm still making use of names again. Yeah, I like using names. Can say that again. Now you have scores. Scores. Now I like doing this. Now this scores. Let's let's assume we have a number fifty four. We have six seven, eight nine, twenty three, forty six. Now each of these scores, as we have corresponding names like um, Tony, um, Ben, um, and um, Kabi. And um, let's say. Now each of these names they uh, have their corresponding scores. Now we format data in, in, in cells by changing the way they are presented, right? Now for example, this here we have the Antony and so on and so forth. We can decide to organize them in alphabetical order. Now if I wanted to organize them, I'll just select this two. So I've done something like this before. Just go to, to, to the quick access to bar and then um, organize the data. Now we could decide to um, expand the selection or continue the current selection. Let's expand the selection. So yeah, we have it going from top to down. So actually, it looks like um it was okay. Let me command Z. So let me do that again. Command Z. I want to track the data to see if it was actually um. With the corresponding scores, so not is it's nine and um, let's okay, yes. But I mean, I just um, if I just continue with this with this with this selection, if I continue with this selection, it will just um, it will sort them without regard to the um, way to be. So, this is the sorting of data, it's, 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 it's also part of the formatting we are talking about. Now, but I want to talk about formatting. There are other aspects of formatting, like the way the um, data is presented. So now, this course, there are numbers, right? Now, imagine that these are actual percentages. Now, you could decide to manually input the percentage. You could just um, input with the keyboard percentage like this. So I guess that should be for this. So I, I could I could insert and then go to the next one again. Insert the percentage and go to the next one again insert percentages you can see that this is actually um, looking very dumb because it's time wasting and there are easier ways of doing this so the best way is basically just select the range of cells you want to format and then you go to these um, numbers section under the home tab this 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 the, the number section in the home ribbon so this is the ribbon assigned to the home menu now when we go to this number section just click this um, drop down arrow it talks about the number format now you can see that some of them are in percentage, so we want the, all of them to be percentage. So just click the um, number stuff, and we are good to go. So just like that, everything is in percentages, and we can also um, change the um, decimal places if you don't want too many decimal places. You 
can use this um, decrease decimal arrow that points to the right so I can decrease it and if I don't want any decimal at all I can decrease it further and so on and so forth so this is the how it looks like it looks but now you can see that this 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 data is not realistic so can somebody is having 56,000 percentage so I can get it back I can take it back to numbers first so I'll take everything back to numbers oh that shouldn't be over I can take it back to general instead so or if I've lost track of my um, my my formatting and I don't want to end up entering data again you can also use command Z on the Mac so I'll use command Z now to take me back to the previous state of my editor so the first time I had, I had data now the reason for that confusion is because some of them were already in percentages and some of them were in so I was not um, I was not keeping track of that so now since all of them are in general format I will not select the whole um, range and instead of taking the drop down if you know exactly what you want to do you can just directly click the percentage down and you are good to go now but this is 5400 percentages 6,700 percentage so this is not realistic so we are going to be dealing with other um, ways of correcting this but let's let's let it be for now now when we talk about formatting you can also use the formatting tab on this this is format tab so you have the cells you can format the cells the rows the columns so in when in the rows you can format the height of the rows you can auto fit you can hide you can hide so now let's talk about this format the height now basically we have this row four now assuming we want to show that um Kabir is the class captain of this class so we can just go to the format and format the row and make the height to be greater than the rest so we can give it a height of let's say 29 and or maybe uh, to make it to make the difference visible let's give it a height of 49 so click ok so you can see that now the uh, the, the row 4 is much lighter than the rest so I don't want this it's kind of a little bit of inequality demonstration so now each of the rows is equal so so that's just a demonstration of the different formats you can apply to your cells so your column you can also adjust the column width so you can do that with this format tab or you can do that manually by just going above the column and taking your um, mouse pointer to the um, right edge and then extend you drag it to the right so you can see that you've already extended the column width that way so there are different ways one one feature of excel is that there are often different ways of achieving the same um, goal so now you just have to pick the one that is easiest for you so that is basically the point here now next let's talk about um getting help in excel now we talked about the fact that there are different ways of achieving the same goal right but there are ways by which we might need um, extra um, methods to augment the ones we have so you make use of the f1 key for the help so you can use the help tab here so excel help you can go to excel help, excel help you can have a lot of um, options there but now right now as you can see i'm not connected to the internet so if you were You'll be able to access the help so apart from that you can also use the f1 key on mac or windows anyone any version of Excel. so now i'll press the f1 key and it has this um this um new windows so but because of it requires internet connection which i don't have obviously so let's move on now that these are not the only formats formatting you can do the other things you can do in the format tab you can format um, the sheets also you can rename the sheets for example so let's rename the sheet. So we could we could rename it as um, um scores. Scores. So now let's rename it as scores. Consider that now this the sheet has a, a name of scores. Now in in summary, you have these formats in all these um, different options here. So you can format the cell, row, column, sheet, and also you can press the F1 key or just go to the help tab for help. Now those are the two things we'll be covering in this episode. I hope you've gained one or two things. And I thank you for watching.